Welcome to Effective Use of Technology in the Classroom, Exploring Integration with the SAMR Model. The SAMR Model was designed by Dr. Ruben Putendura to demonstrate the impact that effective technology integration can have on learning. He looks at four levels of classroom integration, substitution, augmentation, modification, and redefinition. These phases go from the most basic level of using technology as a direct substitute for another tool or activity to integrating technology in a way that is transformative and redefines the learning experience in ways that weren't possible without it. The key to effective technology integration is considering the potential that technology can bring to the classroom. Many teachers find that comparing SAMR to Bloom's taxonomy helps put things in perspective for them. This visual, designed by Kathy Schrock, demonstrates how the idea of building upon foundational levels in Bloom's and SAMR are similar. You start with the basics, remembering or substituting, and then build upon the levels of understanding to apply or augment the learning. Then you can analyze and evaluate, modifying the lessons to integrate more technology until you finally create something new that will redefine the learning in your classroom. But what does all of this look like in a classroom? When it comes to technology integration in the classroom, the S in SAMR is for substitution. Technology acts as a direct substitute with no real functional change. We are basically making a digital copy of something we already did. Maybe you're automating flashcards with an app, or instead of writing a report by hand, your students are typing it into a Word document. Maybe you're reading that same report on a computer or iPad instead of printing it. At this level, technology is being used to substitute. We are substituting a word processing application for a pen and paper, an online text for a physically printed one. Technology is not changing the learning. It is serving as a replacement for another tool in the original lesson. The interactions with technology at this level are between the student and the teacher. The A in SAMR is for augmentation. Here, technology still acts as a direct substitute, but there is a functional change. Students may still be typing that report in a Word document, but in addition, they're utilizing features like spell check or cut and paste. Maybe they're including graphics to illustrate their ideas or adding hyperlinks to connect to online information. Students have access to tools that increase accessibility and help personalize learning. They can utilize text-to-speech tools or add contrast or highlighting to their screens. Teachers can use interactive tools like Socrative and Kahoot to help augment assessment. In this stage, there are significant enhancements to the student experience. The technology has increased or augmented the student's productivity and potential for learning in some way. It has been improved by an ease in editing or enhanced by the inclusion of visuals or audio but the interaction with technology is still primarily between student and teacher. To move from enhancement to transformation, we need to develop a student-centered environment that empowers learners to construct their own meanings and essential understandings by non-traditional means. We need to rethink the way things have always been done because technology allows us to do things in our classroom that weren't possible before. Technology can transform learning into a more student-centered experience that provides meaningful and authentic experiences that are relevant to the global digital world in which our students live. Transformative learning begins with modification, the M in SAMR. Modification means that we are using technology to effectively change the design of the lesson and its learning outcomes. It significantly alters the task. Students can collaborate in a shared document or forums where they curate and exchange information. The written report becomes a multimedia project that can be posted for peer feedback, reflection, and review. Student choice and student autonomy are enhanced as the focus of interaction with technology shifts to student to student and learning becomes more student-centered. 
The R in SAMR is the highest stage of integration, redefinition. This is when technology transforms the learning. Technology becomes essential as what is possible in the classroom is redefined and learning occurs in ways that would not be possible without technology. Students regularly participate in the four C's of collaboration, critical thinking, communication, and creativity as they engage with and share content in new interactive ways. Learning becomes transformed as students are connected to a world beyond their classroom. Students can build models and create art, products, and innovative new designs with 3D printing. They can interact and engage with molecular materials through virtual reality and simulations. When learning is redefined, story time moves to the International Space Station. A lesson on ancient Rome becomes an interactive virtual field trip where you tour the Colosseum and walk the streets. Students can engage in a cultural exchange by connecting directly with classrooms across the globe, practicing native languages, experiencing new perspectives, and participating in unique and diverse learning opportunities. Student engagement moves beyond the classroom as students present their work to a global audience through blogs, wikis, and social media. Redefinition means learning has been transformed. Students are actively engaged in authentic, real-world experiences and challenged to work creatively and collaboratively beyond the physical limits of the classroom. Learning is extended and interaction becomes unlimited as students connect with a worldwide digital community. As we transform learning and design our lessons to effectively integrate technology, we need to be mindful to design experiences that will reach every learner. We need to ensure that technology enhances the learning. Does the use of technology increase access or create barriers? Are we accounting for learner variability and student choice in our lessons? Are we building opportunities to foster collaboration and allow students to engage with a world beyond their classrooms? Are we utilizing technology to create unique and authentic experiences that help build key 21st century skills? And are we presenting opportunities to engage our students in ways that would not have been possible without technology? Let's take another look at the SAMR model. Let's envision technology integration in the classroom as climbing the steps of a ladder. It is a step-by-step -step process that builds upon itself. As we build technology integration, we also build levels of student engagement and interaction. The bottom rungs, substitution and augmentation, help us enhance the lessons, but the engagement and interaction primarily occurs between the student and the teacher. When we begin to modify our lessons and transform them with technology, we naturally build in opportunities for collaboration and critical thinking, and we increase the interactions and engagement between the students themselves. Finally, as we reach the top of the ladder, we are redefining the learning with technology, immersing our students in authentic 21st century experiences, which empower them to interact and engage as part of a global digital community. Effectively integrating technology in the classroom enables students to participate in the transformative power of technology as it continues to redefine how people think, work, and communicate. We need to bring the power of that transformation into educational experiences across all subject areas through effective and focused integration of technology in teaching and learning. Then we will be empowering our students to take their place as citizens of a global digital world. Thank you for joining us today. To explore our online resources and find new ways to transform the learning in your classroom, please visit our website at go.rowan.edu backslash LRC South.